After years of spearfishing and competing around the world, the biggest bit of safety advice I can give is to dive within your limitations. Know your limits and stay well within them. 50% of your limits. How do you measure your limits? Well, your maximum limit is when you pass out. You don't want to find that out because that means you won't be diving tomorrow. And I guess this is another message is that be patient. Come on. Just because you started diving a year ago doesn't mean you're going to be ready to dive with someone who's been fishing for 15 or 20 years. It takes a long time to get to depth, to be able to fish at depth, and to do so safely. I guess the biggest rule of thumb that I'd, ha I'd have is that if you can't dive to the bottom, work around or at least lie on the bottom for 10 or 15 seconds and then swim up to the surface and be comfortable in doing so at every part of the dive, then you're out of your depth, you're beyond your limits and you're asking for an accident. A dive almost never goes exactly as you think it will and according to plan. If you push yourself to your limits right from the word go, you've got no energy towards the end of the dive. You might find the best spot later on in the day and because you pushed yourself early, you can't fish it productively or you could put yourself in a compromising or a dangerous situation. And if the surf picks up while you're out there, you haven't got the energy to fight the current to get back in to shore and then to fight through a surf to get back on shore. It could be really dangerous. 